Um, so the CTE, we can't say we have it, but uh, the latest uh, testing from Boston University is 346 out of 375 brains autopsied from football players, NFL, college, the like, um, had CTE. They were afflicted with CTE. And that's 91.7%, Rob. Now, the, the head um, of, the, uh, of that study, he would say um, it's a biased uh, sample because it was sent in from a lot of people and families and saying, hey, dad was having problems when he died. You need to check his brain out. But, okay, 91.7%, if you get a normal, unbiased uh, sample, that played football, what is it going to be? 50%? Right. 50% is still, That's still a lot. still crazy, yeah. It's crazy. Yep, yep. And the control group was one of 162 people. They had never played football. There was only one CTE in, one, in 162 people. And that one, he actually slipped through the cracks and he ha actually had played college football. Oh, wow. So... Mm, it's like me. I played one semester of college football. I slipped through the track cracks, and you wouldn't think of me having like an NFL football player next to me. You wouldn't think of me having CTE. But how in the world I had once I got hit, then I became wanting to hit more and more and more. And you know that that hitting thing with your head. Did you get? Did you see some stars ever? They, they well, really quick to your 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 comment, Kerry Blanchard, dear friend of mine. I played with him for a number of years at the Jets. A kicker, died at forty nine years old, had CTE, like stage four, stage three, stage four. Um, it turns out that he used his head a lot in college. He was a strong safety or, mm -hmm. or a show team or so. But, um, um, and your question. We're having, I can't we're having, yeah, you're right. I, have, I, hey, I have a question. Yeah. So <laughs> since, since we're talking about uh, traumatic brain injuries and how our experience is that community plays like a huge, huge role in how somebody handles the trauma that they're dealing with or how they're healing from it. What when when Josh was a kid and and you and Alison knew exactly that on paper, by the book, he wasn't even supposed to be that. How many people in your environment, in your community, understood what kind of a miracle every day in his life was? Uh, I don't. I don't think many people understood it, other than the nurses and the the, the family members, really, uh, because it was a very, very rare disorder, um, and they didn't realize that one mucus plug in in twenty seconds could. That cost that him his life. It cost him his life. Period. When I the, the first mucus plug Allison dealt with, I was at training camp at Stevens Point, Wisconsin, and I was 12, 1,300 miles away, and Joshua had to be heliported down to the hospital, and I'm just walking the halls of the dormitory during double chest sessions, praying for the life of my son and praying for Allison's wisdom. And, and Allison, he was he was in the best of hands because again, uh, jo Joshua lived. Joshua had a purpose, and God it was a God purpose, and God used his mother and his grandmother those first few years to keep him alive. Period. And so, we, you know what? You don't even know what that shaped those two ladies completely into over mm, over well, time. In you, ten years from now, this stuff. I mean, look at now, it's 14 years ago, 15, 13 years ago that he died. Look yeah, at how much that time, I, we were talking about this earlier, it was 14 years ago that I attempted suicide for the first time. Look how much time has gone through, mm. how much stuff we actually, we, we couldn't discuss all the stuff. Stuff we went through. We can take all that. 40 sessions for the. Right, yeah, we do all 40. <laughs> yeah, we don't just hang out and stay 40, the whole time. 40 weeks. Yeah, 40, 40 weeks, weeks with Paul Fraze. Um, <laughs> but look at what time does. That's what I want to leave with people to leave from this show going, I can get through with this. 
If Paul oh, went yeah. through that, I can get through this. If David went through that, I can get yeah, through this. Yeah, which is... We don't want to minimize people's trauma. We want no. people to go... Trauma is looks the same for every person. David might have had this happen to him, but Fru had this happen to her that was traumatizing, and it's totally different, but has the same effects. Yeah. Trauma still has the same effect on you, her, and I all the same. So when I flatlined, anger rages, about a year and a half later, I started doing the clinical trials. We were trying to find biomarkers for CTE uh, at Boston University. Mm -hmm. I started learning about CTE. Mm -hmm. And I started learning it's kind of like... Um, the progression's kind of like an Alzheimer's. You can have it for 20 years before it ever shows. So at that point, if I have CTE, if I am dealing with that, can I cogn cognitively choose to, instead of getting mad and blowing up, blowing my stack at my beautiful 13-year-old daughter, can I actually say... I'm going to take a walk. I'll see you. Just give me. A I'm usually minutes. taking a walk while I'm going off it. <laughs> and it works. It still works. It still walk works. Still works. <laughs> Except my pastor heard the other day where his daughter out in the swimming pool heard something about murder. And it was me yelling at dad. <laughs> but um, what, what, is, what are the most important things that keep you going now? Because this is how many, uh, we're, how many years after Josh uh, passing? It'll be, it'll be 14. Um, well, he, he died 2010 Christmas Eve. It would be a perfect answer. And, and, and the question is, you, you, you have a, a cure for myotubular uh, we, myopathy at this point. In, uh, after 20 years of research, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, we have been in clinical trials since 2017. That's we started the foundation. Started, we wrote our first check in 97 to Harvard mm -hmm. in Boston Children's. And uh, we went into the, the first child had a shot of gene transfer therapy on September 19th, 2017. Wow. Yeah. So, That's um, awesome. and we've had some just astounding miracles and we've had a, a few tragedies. And our goal is still to make sure those tragedies don't happen and the mir miracles continue. So does that keep you going or yeah. yes? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's what I was hoping. That, the answer to that question would be perfect if, if it's helping other folks. Because that's, um, I don't care how heavy things get. I don't care how big of a jerk I feel like. I don't care, you know, if I'm helping somebody. Uh, even when I'm filming the stuff and recording, I can't edit myself. I can't look at me and act like an idiot. And, and But whenever I'm, someone else sees it that feel in the same way. That's where I go, man, that was worth it. So it was worth it. In your, you know, kind of uh, what you Forty Day Project. Forty Day Straight. Forty Day Project. Bring your friends and don't be late. Bring your friends and don't be late. Bring your friends and don't be late. All right, Fern, thanks for coming in finally. You're saying, man, you're like stalling. That, that vocal part there. It needs to learn how to get that part first. Lord help me, Gene.